Don, it wasn't that long ago that the outdoor motocrosses raced on Sunday and you got there on Thursday. And then, you know what? We started looking at what the riders really needed and the sponsors needed. And over the last 18 months, there have been sweeping changes and very, very many of them met with, met with so many favorable comments from everybody. Tell us a little bit about what happened in 2009 in the outdoors. Well, you know, like anything, motocross has changed. Supercross has been through evolution over 20 years or so, and so has been motocross. You know, the, the lifestyles have changed of the people watching and paying attention to motocross and supercross, and we want to be current. We want to be uh, at the bleeding edge of the sport, so to say, Saturday, provided a much better format for travel. You know, ever since the whole 9-11 thing, traveling and flying is kind of crazy, both for our fans traveling and our, our athletes. So Saturday came up a lot better for everybody. It gave the athletes a better travel pattern. It gave our fans a, a better weekend. It gave us a better TV opportunity. You know, we were able to produce live NBC shows, live speed shows, same day coverage on every one of our events and uh, also uh, same day with uh, online video. So it was a, a big step for us and the move to Saturday just really opened the door to all of that. Was a great season in 2009, but 2010 upon us. We talked about the summit meeting that for the first time I believe took place here in San Francisco. You got all the promoters together. Everyone got a chance to sit down since the series wrapped in uh, Steel City last year. Anything that we can expect to, to share with the folks, this is breaking news here. 2010 in the outdoors. Well, you know, it's really interesting that, you know, the normal person wouldn't know because motocross isn't a, uh, on the headline news on CBS News every night, but the outdoor series is a little different than Supercross. Supercross is owned and operated by Feld, one entity, one promoter. Super or Motocross is a bunch of different owners, like NASCAR or like Major League Football or Baseball, and all of the owners come together, sit down and talk about the year, the sport, the athletes, the television, everything that we can do to make the sport better for the riders, for the fans, for everybody from camping to, you know, pets on the property. I like to, to, yeah, everything, to entertainment, what we can do to make the show better, how we can change the sport, uh, what's new coming our way. You know, we're always looking, we're always searching for the new things that we can bring to the Outdoor Nationals to make it a good time for everybody. You know, 2010 is going to be exciting. Chad Reed wrapped up the title. Ryan Dungey, who was the then, and I like this, they changed the name to the 250 class, and they're 250s and 450s. That was last year. The 250 class winner, Ryan Dungey, moves up. We've seen his success in Supercross. We know he can cut his chops outdoors. This may be truly one of the most competitive years in, in the last decade. Yeah, it truly will be. Obviously, Dungey is a season champion. He knows how to hang in there all the way to the end and get a championship, as does Villapoto, as does Chad Reed, as does Stewart. Uh, it's going to be a remarkable year, and I think uh, with, with the racing that's going to be, with the changes that the fans are going to see at the racetrack, and all of the things coming together, it's going to be a great year for outdoor motocross, there's no doubt.